This trip took me to the far north of Scotland into the wild area of Sutherland. I had a few days holiday and I wanted to try and get up some mountains to enjoy myself. And I chose an area where there was three mountains in relative close proximity to each other, which meant I could use a central sort of base camp so as I didn't have to travel too far between the days because the roads up here were all narrow and single track. <laughs> oh, I've just arrived at my destination for the next three days and I've come to the far north of Scotland and it's been a bit of a been a bit of an adventure to be honest with you even getting here. I've been in the car for about oh, just under four hours and it's a, I don't know how many miles, over 200 miles to get up here. Anyway, I'm here now. I've, I've only actually been here once before, and I remember this long single track road being, well, long <laughs> single track. And it's just how I remembered it. But today I've got it in glorious conditions. The sun's just come up. It's 10 o'clock. We're, we're getting towards the shortest day of the year, and I've got three hills planned. Uh, in this area, which I'm really looking forward to. So I better get my stuff packed up and ready to get up this hill because I've only got it's 10 o'clock now, maximum six hours of daylight ahead of me. So I am going to head up this hill, come back down, and I'm going to be sleeping in the back of the car, a bit of uh, a bit of car life <laughs> for the next few days. Um, and fingers crossed this weather stays as it is at the moment. Right, let's get the gear on and get cracked up this hill. I set off from the northern shores of Loch Merkland in fine weather. The sun was rising and the skies were blue. It was absolutely fantastic. And I was headed for a hill called Ben He. And there's a couple of different meanings for this hill. Some think it means fairy hill, and others say it's maybe the Gaelic for peaceful looking hill. Either way, I was looking forward to my height. And I set off up the glen towards the hill. Well, making good progress up the glen, and it's uh, it's a bit of a biting wind coming up here. It was quite sheltered down at the car, and it maybe led me into a false sense of security. But anyway, this this path comes up the glen, and then behind me, I don't know if you can see it, still in the cloud, there's clouds scudding across the top is the hill I'm going up, which is called Ben He. And this is in the, the far north of Scotland, and there's there's not many mountains north of here. You've maybe got Ben Stack and. Arkle and Funhaven and these sort of places, Cranstacky, but certainly this group of mountains are about the uh, furthest, furthest north area of highlands in Britain. And it's glorious. It's in an area called Sutherland. I had to laugh. I told uh, a certain family member that I was going hiking in Sutherland and they thought I was going to Sunderland to hike, so <laughs> I think I would have been in trouble if I'd headed uh, or put that into the sat nav and headed there for a hike. I wouldn't have got many mountains, not that there's anything wrong with uh, Sunderland. Anyway, so Sunderland actually means southern lands, but it's in the far north of Scotland. And the reason for that was that it was the Vikings who uh, who named this area when they came south from Scandinavia. This was, would have been one of the first areas they hit. And it was called the Southlands or Sutherland. And it's kind of, the name's kind of stuck. I like it. I kind of like it. It's kind of topsy-turvy. It puts everything on its head a wee bit. But anyway, it's absolutely lovely. As I mentioned before, there's not much daylight. I think sunrise this morning was about 10, quarter past nine, and then sunsets just after three o'clock. So I need to get cracked on because I didn't start walking until 10.30 after that mammoth drive. So I'm going to head up here, and hopefully that cloud will clear and I might get some views from the top of Benji. Let's go. Well, up I went, and the gradient wasn't too bad, it was actually quite nice walking. And before long, I hit the freezing level and the ground became hard with frost. It was quite nice to walk with. Well, on the pinnacle slope of the Ben Hee, which is just up behind me there, that's Ben Hee, as in H-E-E, aka Hee Hee, L-O-L, or more appropriately, as in Hee Haw. As in, you're going to get hee haw views from the top with that cloud. <laughs> but anyway, we'll see, it's kind of wisping over the top at the moment, but this, this summit's been in cloud the whole time. And you look around, a lot of the summits are clear. In fact, there's a bit of low cloud ticking about. <laughs> the only summit that I can see that's in the cloud is the one I'm going up, so I've not uh, 
I've not had to hit it lucky this time. Right, who cares? It's lovely. Great views down here, you can see way down to Loch Shin. That is that big long loch that I drove up on the single track road. And over there's Ben Moore Asin and Conneval and around to Clonaig. So the views are pretty good, I can't complain. But I'm gonna get cracked on up here. It, it is Baltic. Absolutely Baltic. Brass monkeys, so put the camera away for a while and get to the top and then maybe drop down to the shelf for another time. But lovely, not gonna complain. What a day. As I approached the summit, the cap of cloud that had been on it all day remained. It was kind of coming and going at times, but it didn't allow many wide vistas or views to enjoy. So I plodded my way up to the frozen summit of Benhue. Here I am at the summit of Benhue, and I was right, there's ski hall views. <laughs> That cloud's stuck around the summit, it's not really moving. Every now and again it's thinning a wee bit. But the winds aren't too bad up here, I think it was more breezy coming up the ridge. And uh, I'm going to head down a slightly different way, I think it's to be a bit more rocky, but if I can drop down out of this summit cloud, there's a great view down here, <laughs> believe it or not, in that cloud. There's a lovely view down a loch which stretches out. So I'm going to head down there and see if I can find that spot to take the picture. It's quite nice, but yeah, I'm not sure how far down this cloud goes on that side of the mountain. Anyway, I'm going to take a compass, bearing, and head off down there and back towards it. drop down the mountain a wee bit, if I spin round, you can see it's still covered in cloud, in fact I think the cloud levels dropped a bit more. I've just come down off the ridge, it's been really windy but there's this wee band of rocks here, just sheltering me from the wind at the moment so hopefully you can hear me okay. Anyway I found the spot I wanted to take a picture from, straight down here, that's beautiful, beautiful loch leading into the, I suppose it's uh, Ben Loyal is the mountain you can see and to the left of that is Ben Hope. And I'd seen this in the map and I just thought that would make a nice picture. Unfortunately, the light isn't really happening just now, but I'm going to take a few snaps anyway and see what they come out like. But yeah, best view of the day, so maybe hee-haw isn't the word. I've maybe got a picture from this uh, this island after all. But anyway, I'm going to take a few pictures and I'll stick them up if they're any good. And then I'll be heading back down to the car to find a spot to spend the night. Lovely. Took a few pictures of the loch and then had to head back down because the sun was starting to lower. But as I went down the side of the mountain I came across this lovely little frozen loch and, and with the sun lowering behind it it made a fantastic photo. Photographs taken and it was time to head back down the hillside. Disturbed a few deer, but I was soon striding along the Land Rover track with the sun beating down and me back towards the car. Well that's me off the hill. It is 10 past 3 and I don't think I'm going to get much of a sun set. I've found a sort of large parking area, I'm going to spend the night here and as you can see I've got all my stuff in the back there. Well, maybe you can't see. <laughs> I don't know. So, who needs a van when you've got a car? Yeah, I've got the blow-up mattress in the back and my sleeping bag and even brought some pillows. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to spend the night here and then tomorrow I'm either going to go up. There's two other Corbett's here. I'm just not quite sure which ones I'm going to go up. Maybe go over the one over there or the one back. Over the back, Ben Leowood is where I'd plan to go, but we'll see. Time will tell. Um, anyway, hopefully I'll get a good night's sleep. <laughs> Time to get some food, I think. Three hours. That's three hours I've been sat in my car. It's pretty cold outside. I did go outside and make some tea using the stove. But apart from that, I've been sat in here with the engine running, keeping warm. 
I've been uh, watching a wee bit of YouTube because very surprisingly there's a 4G signal up here. <laughs> I actually thought when I was coming here that it would be nice and uh, social media free and uh, I wouldn't have any internet connection or phone uh, phone signal but it's full bars and really great connection which is it's actually giving me a bit of, uh, gives you a bit of security in the hill although you should never really rely on that to uh, also have your map and compass. What else have I been doing? Yeah, I've read this before, but I brought this up to read. Uh, Touching the Void by Joe Simpson. Good book. Just on chapter two of that, I'm away to read more of that. Done a few posts on Twitter and Instagram and things like that. Had a packet of crisps and uh, some chocolate. Now, I'll tell you what I did buy is a treat, which I've not had for a while. See, let's see if I can just find them here. What they call peanut butter please. Yes, these. Reese's, 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 chocolate and peanut butter. Can't have them back home because the wee lad's allergic to nuts. So um, a wee treat for me on this week, this trip. So yeah, another <laughs> another three hours to watch YouTube and read books and eat chocolate before getting my bed ready for the night. And tomorrow, I'm still not sure where I'm going to go tomorrow. Uh, I've altered my plan slightly. I think I'm going to try and head up maybe a Corbett tomorrow and then another Corbett on Friday. Uh, I was initially going to go up uh, Ben Stack, which is not quite as high as a Corbett. That's probably, probably the finest looking mountain in this area, but the weather forecast isn't looking great, so I want to keep that for a good day. Anyway, I'm, uh, I'm missing out watching some YouTube here, so I'm going to switch this off. I'll see you in the morning.